What is going on guys? How are you guys doing today? And welcome back to another Roblox Fire Alarm Inspection number 86. Now this Roblox Fire Alarm Inspection is special uh, as we have officially hit 600 subscribers. I'm very very happy. I've been waiting for this moment for months and we finally hit 600 subscribers. We're at 603 subscribers. Now a little funny part about this when we hit 500 subscribers I did a 500 subscriber special video and I'm not even joking. The views on that video says 500 views, so that that's pretty crazy. But yeah, I know it's been a little minute. I know it's been a little while. It's been two months since I posted the last video. The last video that was posted was a uh, bad driving compilation video, which was two months ago. But we are back, and we're here to film the 600 subscriber special. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Now I do apologize for the background noise, uh, the TV. I do apologize for that. Um, but we'll we'll get through this. So I know a lot of you guys are thinking that, huh, this map is new. I've never seen this map before. Well, that's because I recently just created this map, and this is called the Mini Mall Project map. Now keep in mind this map is still a work in progress. Everything in this map is not finalized. Well, most of the stuff in this map is finalized, but I'm still working on some parts of the map. I'm still trying to think if I want to expand the map more, but for now we're just going to kind of keep it like it is. But yeah. It's the system that we're using, we're using a Firelight, the panel that we're using is a Firelight MS9200 adjustable panel. And I apologize that the beeping is in trouble, but yeah. The alarm that we have in the maintenance room, we have a uh, Pyrotronics, uh, or also known as a Willock uh, LSM strobe. Um, and then over here we have a uh, Willock AS, this is the vertical, this is the... horizontal version um, as you can see and then the pull stations that we're using are firelight b12 LXs adjustable pull stations and these are throughout these are throughout the building and yeah I thought I heard something up here we have a simplex uh, this is a simplex, not a strobe, this is a light plate. And then we have a, a I believe a simplex or federal signal, I don't know. I'm not, bear with me. I can actually look, nope, I can't. I thought they would have had something up there. Okay, never mind, but yeah. In here, in this little, or as we know, at this little tax uh, firm area, we have uh, a multi-com T-bar. And in here we have uh, EST pre-integrities. These are not the uh, integrities. These are, these are the pre-integrities. We have one right here. We have one on that wall. And then we have another one on this wall. I was going to put another one. I was going to put two more on that wall. But I figured that three was enough for this room. We go into the little uh, Ross store. We have Spectacular Advanced uh, ceiling mount strobe. Ceiling mount horn strobes. We have one right here, one right here, one right here. We have three in here, and then over here we have another multi-com uh, T-bar. And then we go over here, we have two EST integrities next to the MRX fire extinguishers. Um, and yeah, now we're going to go to the upstairs portion so we can knock out the upstairs part too. Um, up here, we have... We have EST uh, 892 something. I don't know the model numbers good, but I don't know why the strobes are flashing. Uh, I did test the system before. I did test the system before uh, I started the video, so that could be why. And that those strobes have a little something a glitch or whatever with it. We have another uh, EST. Uh, just let me know down in the comment section below the model numbers if you're good with the models and all that stuff. I just know the brands. I'm good with certain models, but not all the models. And here, of course, and here we have another Pyrotronics, aka a Willock uh, strobe, in both the bathrooms, as you can see. So yeah. Over here, of course, we have another uh, Firelight. We have another Firelight, or as in this case, another Fire BT12 LX. We have a Simplex right here, and I think I can look at the bottom just to see what this is. We have a Simplex. Uh, this is a Simplex 2901-9806. Um, 
This is a electric horn, as you can see. And then same, same, same alarm over there too. It's the same thing on both sides. We're gonna come into the uh, little furniture store, or as I call it, the Sears, because uh, I tried to. This mall is basically pretty much based off nostalgia. This mini mall is kind of like the, to, kind of to represent the '90s. I tried to do that, so yeah, you're gonna kind of see a little bit of you know. We have another firelight with the 12LX in here, and then we have a uh, Pyrotronics speaker strobe in, in here. We have we have two Pyrotronics speaker strobes over there on that wall, and then we have one, two, three on this wall, and then we have another one on that wall. And then in here, we go in here, we have uh, Willock Bells on each wall, as you can see. And then we have another Firelight PG-12LX as well. We go we continue on down here and we have another Simplex. This is a light plate. I know this is actually a strobe. This is a strobe. I'm sorry. This is a strobe. But this is a Simplex. Uh, so this is a horn strobe. You, got, you can see the horn underneath there. And then, of course, Firelight pull stations. In the little Samsung store, we have a Willock AS on the ceiling. This is the ceiling version of the Willock AS. And I think we just have one in here, and then we go over here. We have Federal Signal uh, horn strobes, or if we look, no, I don't think they would have that at the bottom. And of course, we're using a Federal Signal uh, MP something uh, adjustable pull station. Okay, okay, these sounds are scaring me. I'm about to take that TV away. Um, and then we have another. We have a Federal Signal FLS alarm right here, and then we have another Federal Signal FLS alarm over there. Did I say Federal Signal? Okay, I'm sorry. I meant to say Faraday FOS, okay? And then we have a Faraday FOS over here. And then, yeah. And then, of course, right here we have a Miracom alarm. And here we have system sensor masses on each floor. And then we have system sensor masses in here. And in the McDonald's, we have Specular Advances at the Code 3. And then in the Chick fil A, we have Willock NSs. So, without further ado, this video is already long enough as it is trying to go through all the alarms. That's the whole time consuming part. But uh, for headphone users, I advise you if you have your volume up, please turn it down. These, these alarms are very loud. And being the fact that these are all mixed fire alarms, they are super loud. So, we're going to start off with the pull station in the maintenance room.
a loud system but anyways guys i just want to say uh thanks for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed this roblox fire alarm inspection video i really do appreciate the 600 subscribers you know i couldn't have done it without you guys you know uh i really didn't know where this channel was going to take off after the first fire alarm section video or after the first fire alarm videos but it's crazy to see since 2016 when this channel was created to now how many subscribers we have so i really do appreciate the love and support uh, I will try my best to upload consistently. I can't make any promises. Like I said in the last video, videos are uploaded on my free time, so um, they can get uploaded at any time. It could be during the day, it could be early morning hours, it could be dust on, it could be any, it could be any time. You know, uh, you just gotta bear with me. But thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. And I'm sorry that the video is long because we had to go do all, we had to go through all the alarms. So yeah.